During World War II, aircraft pilots reported encountering mysterious aerial phenomena known as Foo Fighters. These unidentified flying objects were observed in the skies over both the European and Pacific theaters of operations. Shaped like clouds, donuts, balls, and spheres, and often glowing or translucent. These strange entities have fueled conspiracy theories that Earth was being visited by advanced civilizations. The term Foo Fighters emerged from popular culture during the early 1930s. Cartoonist Bill Holman used the nonsense word Foo in his Smokey Stover Fireman comic strips. Radar operator Donald J. Myers from the U.S. 415th Night Fighter Squadron borrowed the term from Smokey Stover. He had seen a red ball of fire chasing their aircraft and exclaimed, it was another one of those fucking Foo Fighters. The name stuck, and it became the label for these mysterious aerial phenomena. Foo Fighters were observed by Royal Air Force personnel as early as March 1942 and by RAF bomber crews over the Balkans starting in April 1944. The sightings involved strange lights following aircraft, exhibiting unusual behavior and movement patterns. Witnesses described glowing orbs, balls of fire, and other inexplicable aerial objects. Initially, Foo Fighters were presumed to be secret enemy weapons. However, despite investigations, the true nature of Foo Fighters remains unexplained. These wartime encounters continue to intrigue researchers and remain a fascinating chapter in UFO history. So let's explore some of the possible explanations. New Kind of Weather Phenomenon the sightings were largely dismissed as German weapons or flight fatigue, although some speculated at the time they may be a new kind of weather phenomenon. Plasma represents the fourth state of matter distinct from solid, liquid, and gas, but its properties are still being uncovered. It is responsible for lightning and phenomena such as the northern lights, when plasma from the sun interacts with Earth's magnetic field. St. Elmo's Fire St. Elmo's fire is a weather phenomenon in which luminous plasma is created by a corona discharge from a rod-like object in an atmospheric electric field. It's neither ball lightning, nor lightning, and definitely not fire. Lightning is the passage of electricity from a charged cloud to the earth. St. Elmo's fire is a reproducible and demonstrable form of plasma. The electric field around the affected object causes ionization of the air molecules, producing a faint glow easily visible in low-light conditions. The intensity of the effect, a blue or violet glow around the object, often accompanied by a hissing or buzzing sound, is proportional to the strength of the electric field and therefore noticeable primarily during thunderstorms or volcanic eruptions. Approximately 1,000 to 30,000 volts per centimeter is required to induce St. Elmo's fire, and the magnitude of the electric field depends greatly on the geometry of the object. In an August 2020 paper, researchers in MIT's Department of Aeronautics and Astronautics demonstrated that St. Elmo's fire behaves differently in airborne objects versus grounded structures. They show that electrically isolated structures accumulate charge more effectively in high wind, in contrast to the corona discharge observed in grounded structures. Electromagnetism Electromagnetism is an interaction that occurs between particles with electric charge via electromagnetic fields. The electromagnetic force is one of the four fundamental forces of nature. It is the dominant force in the interactions of atoms and molecules. Electromagnetism can be thought of as a combination of electrostatics and magnetism, which are distinct but closely intertwined phenomena. A plasma globe combines both electrostatic and electromagnetic phenomena to create its captivating visual display. It's a delightful blend of science and art. Nikola Tesla invented the plasma lamp during his experiments with high-frequency currents in evaluated glass tubes. He called it an inert gas discharge tube. While they're great for entertainment, plasma globes also serve as educational tools. They help demonstrate concepts related to electric fields, ionization, and gas discharge. So next time you see a plasma globe, appreciate the science behind its mesmerizing display. There's a recent paper that suggests the phenomena are in fact plasmas, or ionist gases, which are drawn to the electrical charge of aircraft, spacecraft, and satellites. 
Experts argue that the strange properties of plasmas make them appear to behave like living organisms, even though they are not alive. Plasmas can grow in size and replicate, make contact with each other, and may feed off the electromagnetic radiation of satellites and spacecraft. Huge glowing masses of up to a mile wide, which behave similarly to swarms of living organisms, have been filmed by 10 NASA space shuttle missions. Astronauts have reported strange phenomena since the 1960s. Plasmas in the thermosphere from 66 to 372 miles high may descend into the lower atmosphere and account for reports by pilots. These plasmas are electromagnetic entities that have a variety of shapes and sizes. They have repeatedly approached spacecraft and the space shuttles and are attracted to electromagnetic activity including thunderstorms. They have been filmed from space, descending into the lower atmosphere and appear to be attracted to airplanes, fighter jets, nuclear power plants, and hot spots of radiation, such as Hiroshima, which was destroyed by an atomic bomb. Plasmas may represent an alternative form of life. Some of the authors believe that the plasmas may even represent an alternate form of life that is not carbon-based, although others are skeptical. The team has called for more research studying the plasmas, including sending up satellites which generate electromagnetic pulses equipped with infrared and x-ray cameras to capture the phenomena. Plasma-like entities have been filmed congregating in their hundreds, particularly around satellite tethers which generate electromagnetic activity. They have numerous shapes, travel in different directions, with some moving quickly while others hover in place. They even appear to target or follow each other and sometimes collide, leaving what resembles a plasma dust trail in their wake. But this does not mean these plasmas are alive or engaging in intelligent purposeful behavior. Rather, as documented experimentally, these upper atmospheric electromagnetic plasmas may be engaging in energy cannibalism and behaviors referred to as collisionality, in which they turn, follow, collide, intersect, and possibly exchange energy. Based on video, photographic, and computerized analysis, including reports by military officers and astronauts, they believe these plasmas account for at least some of the numerous reports of UFOs and unidentified aerial phenomenon over the last several thousand years, including the Foo Fighters observed by pilots during World War II.